suffers from an incurable form of cancer. He says legalizing medical marijuana could help other cancer sufferers. Ambrosini attributes his survival to it and has made an impassioned plea to government to address the issue. No rational argument for continuing to deprive medical marijuana to people like me who need it. It is a crime against humanity not to allow that to take place. And it appears it's found resonance with the ruling party. We are very keenly following up on the discussion and research in around the world on the issue of the potential of de of legalizing, uh, decriminalizing uh, medical marijuana. We're a caring society. Soon, the bread and butter of parliament. Please take a seat, on member. On a point of uh, order, speaker. Order, on members. Order, order, order. Smaller opposition parties also had a field day. Currently, the government is interfering on every level of the economy while the trade unions are chasing away investors. Members of the ruling party have become too comfortable, and some of them have even become too arrogant. And I believe the time has come for members of this side to switch places and go that side, and members on this side to go the other side. A country that experienced economic growth of 3.2%, a country that has created a significant number of jobs and whose natural wealth has grown to more than three, 3 trillion, should not be having an increase in the number of people who require social assistance. We believe that the fight against inequality, poverty and unemployment need a different approach to the dominant perspective. It is clear that these triple challenges, unless the state plays an active role in addressing them, will not only persist but worsen. As opposition parties poke holes into President Zuma's address, the ruling party's big guns defended the message, saying this government has done more to make the country a better place to live in. President Zuma replies on Thursday. Mzwane Limbech, SAPC News, Parliament.